Hey, hey, have you ever thought of the fact that, oh, well, oh, well, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, oh, that the Lord has made, why don't you just rejoice, just rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, yes. Now, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'll enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will sing. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. He has made me glad. Oh, don't you know that? He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Come on and sing it now. He has made me glad. Oh, yes. He has. I said, uh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. Well, now I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Let me know it. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will sing this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. He has made me glad. Oh, don't you know that? He's made me glad. Can't you see that? He has made me glad. Come on, sing it. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, yeah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Well now. He has made me glad, oh yes, now, he has made me glad, I will rejoice, he has made me glad, I sing, I sing, I sing, I will rejoice, oh he has made me glad, I will rejoice, oh he has made me glad, oh yes, yes, I will rejoice, oh he has made me glad, oh I'm on and sing it, I will rejoice, oh he has made me glad, the Lord Jesus, I will rejoice, oh he has made me glad he healed my body i will rejoice for he has made me glad he set my soul free i will rejoice for he has made me glad he's my lord i will rejoice for he has made me glad my redeemer i will rejoice for he has made me glad he's alive i will rejoice he has made me glad he lifted me up i will rejoice he has made me glad who rejoice for he has made me glad ba ba boom ba 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 boom ba ba da ba 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 boom ba da 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 ba he has made me glad. Come on and sing it. I will rejoice. He. Whoop. Has made me glad. <laughs> Listen, I want to teach you something, man. By faith. By faith. When you stir up your finger like this up to heaven, you're stirring up heaven, the hosts of heaven, God's blessing coming down on you. I do this all the time by faith. I stir it up. Come on, Lord. Shut it down. Woo!
the anointing, the presence, the blessings of God, stirring them up. Woo! I know they're inside of us, but I'm stirring them up in heaven and they stirred up inside of me. So practice that. Stir it up. Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Bring it down, Lord. Send it. Fire. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. <laughs> you know what? I like making noise for the Lord. He made noise for us. Say, I don't know about that, Sammy. I think God was very, very tender, very quiet. Yes. He made noise by his lifestyle. He was radical. Telling a man by the pool of Bethesda, 38 years paralyzed from the neck down. Take up your mat. Get up. That's radical. Blind by the maze. Couldn't see. He was blind as a bat. When he called on Jesus and he healed him, that's radical. The woman with the issue of blood, she spent everything. She suffered. She was subject 12 years. Unclean. Couldn't get next to anyone because of her uh, illness. She touched the hem of his garment and bam! Power. River of life came out of him. That's radical. Raised the dead. Taught the gospel. Touched the leopards. Healed by sending his word. That's radical. And then finally, the cross of Calvary. Everybody saw him get whipped. They molded him, tore him to pieces, ripped off his beard. You can't get pretty, they rip off your beard. You gotta get ugly. They spit at him. History says it was like buckets of spit all over him. They put a crown of thorns on his head. That's radical. They stripped him naked. They mocked him. They punched him. That's radical. Then they hung him on that cross for everybody to see it. Gargantha's Hill. Calvary. That's radical. And then he was still alive. A soldier came, put a spear, saw right through his side. Fwah! Water, blood came out. That's radical. Then they buried him, the tomb. One day went by, everybody was sad. <laughs> they took our master away from us. Two days went by. Peter, you seen anything? You heard anything? No, nah, man. He said in three days, we got one more day to go. On the third day, the rocks ripped in half. That's radical. The sky had gotten black. Throughout this ordeal. That's radical. Then Maria Magdalena runs to the tomb. And she meets an angel. I believe there were two of them. That's radical. They spoke to her. Maria Magdalena, what are you doing here? I'm looking for the master. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? That's radical. He was not in the tomb. He rose from the dead, just like he said. And if he rose from the dead, you and I should be able to get up out of bed. That's radical. So she goes back and tells, he's alive, he's not there. That's radical. They went up there, they saw an empty tomb. And the linens were all folded up. That meant something for the Jews. That's a significance when you fold up the linens. I forgot what it was, but you can look it up. And then he appears to them. He walked with them 40 days. That's radical! In fact, on one occasion, he was walking and talking to the disciples, and they were sad, and he's like, well, you are so sad when he took our master away from us. And then he revealed himself to them. I believe that's John chapter 10, excuse me, John chapter 20, verse 20. I call it 2020 vision. John 2020. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. That's radical. And then he says, I'm going up to heaven to sit on the right hand of the Father of, 
on high and I'm going to send the Holy Spirit down, another comforter. That's radical. He sent another comforter down, came down, filled everybody up in the upper room. Whew. That's radical. They all got filled up, stopped preaching, speaking in tongues, other languages. That's, help me out now, radical. And then they went out and stopped preaching. They were persecuted. They spread out the gospel and then Paul the apostle shows up to persecute the church. And then Jesus shows up in the road of Damascus. He knocks him off his beast. He says, uh, Paul says, who are you? He says, I'm the one you're persecuting. That's radical. And then finally, he says, I've chosen you. You're a chosen vessel. Go to the Gentile and tell him everything that I tell you. Took him up to a mountain somewhere, blinded him. Then he had to open his new eyes, spiritual eyes. And he went out and preached the gospel. Now, Paul was radical in his ministry. So... He saved me some 45 years ago. This gospel message got to me. It happened 2,000 years ago, but it got to me. The same love that God gave to them, he gave to me. The same healing he gave to those people, he gave to me. Same salvation he gave to them, he gave to me. That's radical. And he saved me. He took out the dope and gave me the hope. That's radical. And so I'm sitting here saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates. I'm sharing. I'm praying for people. That's radical. I don't feel like I want to sit and just, uh, you know, pay a tambourine, play a tambourine in a church and just keep quiet and say, well, the Lord saved me. And uh, I got a testimony of 40 years ago what he did. No, God is doing something now. I am the move of God. The church is the move of God. You are the move of God. That's radical. Somebody said, if you get on fire for, if you get on fire for God, people will come to watch you burn. That's radical. I had a, a friend, pastor of mine, used to say, Sam, I was born in the fire and the smoke won't do. That's radical. So my friend, check yourself before you wreck yourself. If you know Jesus did all that for you and you just want to sit there like a bump on a log. And wait for your number to get called number 53 to go to heaven. Get on the next bus. Go ahead. Do it. Not me. I want to work for the Lord. I want to turn the tables upside down. I want to turn this world downside up. I want to preach the gospel, shout it from the mountaintop. I want to roar like a lion. Rah! That's radical. So this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it, and I'll shout it from the rooftop, Jesus is alive! Woo! That's radical! I know some folks rather do that in church. I'll do it everywhere I go. I just had church here. I just had church. I just had church. And I'm radical. I know how to be cool in certain places, but I am going to speak. I'm going to let my voice be heard. Somebody's going to know about God before I leave that room. You don't like it? You don't want to walk with me. A lot of people didn't want to walk with Paul. Silas walked with Paul and wound up in prison at midnight. They started praising and singing. He shook the foundations of that prison. You may not want to walk with a guy like me. I'm radical. <laughs> and if God gives me a mate, she's got to be radical. <laughs> or oh, if not, she's got to allow me to be radical and enjoy it at the same time. God bless you. You take care of yourself. I love you. Bing, bang, boom. Bam. Sammy D in the house. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. Hey.